Seven buildings in Tampines have started using a new shared cooling system that will reduce their emissions. And this after being retrofitted with a network of pumps and pipes that allow some buildings to share their chilled water with others for air conditioning. It is Singapore's first such green solution in a built-up area and could also be used in other parts of the country in the future. Eugene Chow has more. These distribution pumps have started supplying chilled water to nearby buildings in Tampines under what's called a distributed district cooling network. This system will save the buildings enough energy to power more than 700 three-room HDB households per year. It will also reduce energy costs by 11%. This is the first time a town centre so developed has managed to go green in this way. In other district cooling systems, we have a clean slate and we can build this uh, from ground up in a greenfield setting. But in Tampines, when you have a built environment that's uh, so dense and, and so close to each other, uh, we don't have space to go and put a district cooling plant anywhere. So we had to rethink about how we bring energy efficient cooling to these building owners. Pipes spanning 1.3 kilometres were laid along some of the estate's busiest roads, like Tampines Avenue 4. This meant trying to avoid disruptions to traffic flow and businesses. Unlike in new HDB estates like Tenga, where authorities built a centralised cooling system as they were building the flats. Under the system in Tampanese, three buildings will supply chilled water. They are our Tampanese Hub, Century Square and Tampanese One. Their chiller plants are energy efficient and have excess capacity. The plants will pump the water to four other buildings in the area for their cooling needs. This means the other buildings will not need a chiller plant of their own. Chiller plants are major energy consumers. One building may use the extra space for other green purposes. Income Insurance says the implementation of the distributed district cooling will free up space with the removal of air conditioning equipment which are no longer needed and that they can potentially consider other sustainable practices such as solar renewable energy in the future. MP for Tampanese GRC, Masago Zukifli says the launch of the system is a key milestone for the area. We are going to transform the Tampanese Regional Town Centre into a people-first, future-proof for playing, living and, uh, and working, and more importantly, on a sustainable footprint. The next phase of the project will look at how to connect seven more buildings including OCBC Tempanis Centre 1. With 80% of Singapore's landscape already built, SP Group says it's keen to study how a similar network can be used in other precincts.